<laughs> How you going, Fabo? Look, to be clear, this is Texas. I got absolutely, personally, zero problems with anything that happened. I actually like it, and I think it's a good thing. However, for the law, there's some issues. Oh my God, this is something else. Okay, I hope everybody sees some problems with this. Again, personally, I love it. I think everything that done here should be absolutely legal, supported, and government should be thanking the citizens, not trying to figure out ways to screw them over, which they will. I, I don't know what county this happened in, but uh, so this guy evidently tried to steal a purse. Stealing a purse, depending on how it was done, um, uh, it's it's probably a felony either way. When you take personal property from the immediate presence of another, it's usually considered either grand theft or robbery. If you use force or fear, it gets into robbery and strong arm robbery. So did he get the purse? Did he fight with the woman? Did he push her? Did he punch her? Was he armed? All those things can make this a violent felony versus what the media will try to portray as a petty theft because of the colors. It will be dumbed down that the poor guy was out buying Skittles and out for a jog and, you know, mean white people in Texas just running around beating up people jogging and buying Skittle. But the guy was committing a crime and he tried to steal it. And fellow Texans jumped in and said, oh, hell no. And they grabbed his ass, held him down till the cops got there. I'm totally okay with all that. Now this woman, although I like her spirit and I like her can-do attitude, she's she might have some legal issues. Let me say it again. If I was DA and I was the charging guy, this woman would not be charged. She wouldn't anything. It'd be like, I ain't charging her. It's a done deal. Good for her. I don't care. But Rick, she endangered the public and she could have shot and killed somebody and she was reckless. I don't care. She's a lawful carrying citizen trying to stop freaking scumbag crime in her community with the rest of her community members. And if I'm in charge, she gets nothing but maybe a key to the city for a week and a free freaking, you know, happy meal at McDonald's, whatever. I don't, she does not get in any trouble, but that's not the world we live in. And by the leather law, she's got some issues. So I've got some, I've got some problems with her judgment. She's holding a gun because she can, because she's empowered, because she has a gun, which I'm all for that. But reasonably, you got these guys sitting here now. Could you say, and again, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, this guy pulls out a knife and he stabs one of these guys. She's ready and she shoots him because he's got a knife and she protects the money. Could that happen? Absolutely. Cops point guns at people all the time. There's no problem. Nobody complains. Nobody says, oh, it's reckless. Nobody says, oh, it, you know, I, I don't like this double standard for cops. In my mind, whatever a cop can do, the citizens can do. I'm sure somebody will point out in comments that I got it wrong. But anyway, she's standing there with her gun out. It is it needed? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people. I don't know if this is the victim. I see her walking over to the cop afterwards. She's trying to help. A lot of people try to do things and people get hurt. Right here, deadly force is not authorized unless... She knows he was armed, he cut somebody, or he he punched somebody out and did a violent felony when he's trying to steal. Now he's a fleeing violent felon. And she could say he's a dangerous community. He may try and carjack a car. 
He may grab someone else's purse. He may cut somebody else, etc. That's the only way that I think she could shoot him right here. If she doesn't know that, she can't shoot. That's why, until we know the investigation and exactly what was in her mind, we can't say. Did she shoot him or over his head? When this first happened, I thought she shot over his head. Now I'm wondering if she did shoot him. Wow. I'm going to have to slow this down and look at this. So he trips and falls. Everyone else kind of stalls because it's like, uh-oh, crazy woman with a gun. She's shooting everything. So it stops all the guys. <laughs> Rick, where are you picking? I'm just saying, when she shoots, all men react. Ready? Woman with a gun. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, girl. This ain't skirt work. You ain't out here doing skirt work just shooting people. You're in it to win it. <laughs> so, so I love Texas being Texas. Like <laughs> this dude's like, Hey, what's going on? Oh, there's some woman shooting somebody. It's all right. Let's go. I got to go get some gas. And <laughs> I love that attitude. <laughs> Notice the people filming when she shoots and everything. They just keep filming like, yeah, you know, crazy criminal. We got Texans taking down a criminal. It's a good thing. It's a good day in Texas. When you hear sirens and you have a gun, you really need to think about departing the area, hiding the gun, and making sure the cops don't see the gun because they will react and shoot and kill everybody on scene. I know I'm going to have that little blue boot licking badge polishing idiots here crying man cops are really you're giving them a bad name and the cops wouldn't do that they do it every freaking day you cops are running around like freaking paranoid little pussies doing you shoot everything that freaking moves including a one-legged chihuahua laying on a couch because you're in fear of your life if you got a gun around cops your life's in danger because cops are out of control so she or siren she stays there is she doing anything? She's fired a gun and she's got a good stance and she's holding a gun. Could she shoot or help or do anything here? She's not thinking clearly. She's just, I got my gun out and I'll just point it and hold it. I love the attitude of the people filming. Nobody, yeah, if you were in freaking California, New York, you'd be like, what are these people doing? Why don't they just let him go? Why don't they just be a good victim? Why are they picking on the poor man that's out jogging buying Skittles? So now she drops her gun. She doesn't put it back in her purse, in her pocket. And I know somebody's going to say, well, maybe she didn't have a holster. I don't care if you got a holster or not. Stick that shit in the center of your back, in your pocket. Reach down and slide it in your boot or in your sock. You don't want to be holding a gun when cops are showing up to a possible shots fired robbery. I like her strolling afterwards. Yeah, I pulled a gun. I shot his ass. My, my, I got to go have a cup of coffee and another day in Texas. I love Texas attitude. <laughs> These two women are doing some skirt work. Hey, what did you do today, babe? Well, I went to the store and, you know, this girl was filming and this other girl was like shooting up the town and... And I was just talking to her. She was telling me how they tried to rob a purse. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And we just had a talk while she was videotaping this woman shooting at people. I love Texas attitude. <laughs> okay, so I've got to go back and check this footage. Okay, so I recorded this in a bigger version. And I got it so I can go frame by frame. So let's see what's happening here. My truck and jump here. Wow. I cannot tell if she should no. say. I cannot tell. I thought she fired in the air at first. I think she might have shot him in the back. I got as slow as I can play it. Man. 
Look at the recoil on that, on that gun. I mean, she, I can't believe she shot him. Her, her defense is going to have to be when he was fighting with them, he was using force and he was violent and he got away from three people and she was concerned that he would grab another woman and hurt her and therefore she was in fear of what this dude would do and maybe the shooting can be justified. Once again, in my opinion, I don't really give a shit. You out there committing crimes, you're trying to steal shit, I got no problem. You get what you get. Liberals and Dems don't like that shit because then you don't need government and then they can't have guns and then they can't take away guns from good people and blame the gun. Anyway, well, in that there, y'all guys can say what you want. I can't figure it out.